so in this video I want to kind of demonstrate the difference between items are that are linked through your inventory app and items that are called custom items right so when you go to the register and you do transactions so what you're seeing here these are called categories right and then inside each category there are items and this right here is basically your inventory and when I say it's basically your inventory what I really mean is there is an app it's called inventory and if you open it these are the items these are the items and there are the categories right so these are my categories and it tells me how many items there are in it so this one has four items most of the categories are empty right um, so this basically is inventory and there are these items and majority of our presentation is really not about that uh, I want to show you something else so there are these items and then you're going to see this one uh, also this one thing it's called custom item and it will show up in everywhere right like so we had breads uh with some items in there so if i go to my breads um, the last thing you're going to see in there is going to be the four items that i showed you and then the custom item so there's a difference between doing this um right so there's the uh item right there and doing that right and you enter like that so and the difference being is that one came from the inventory the other one is not even an item it's just a charge of 15 cents that's all that is um uh, and when you're like when you're using your register app to trigger other fees using advanced fee app uh, it will not react to it will not react to custom item let me demonstrate um, first let me just adjust this real quick here edit fee question mark all right safe okay so here we are in the register app right and i'm gonna go to all items and i'm gonna grab um let's say this test item here and then it asks me fee i say yes and what triggered it was that i've put something in the shopping cart well let me save this one so here's another uh, um register so this is a brand new transaction now it has nothing to do with the first one we just did i'm gonna go to all items and now i'm gonna use this custom item and i'm gonna say 25 258 dollars okay guess what didn't happen the fee didn't get triggered and it's because you it's you're using custom item so what's the workaround how do you deal with this all right, let me show you how to deal with that. Um, you go to your uh, employees app right here and you go into permissions, okay? And then you find your register app and you click on this little arrow down to expand and see more of the options on a register app. And a third one will be add custom item to an order uncheck it all the way across and that's it so now you don't have it um let's just lock in and all right so we're back let's go ahead and save this one and let me go to all items and there's a custom item but now you can't use it right so it's going to ask for uh, manager pasco to add a custom item and so that will force to cancel and then you go well what do we do um well so there's a way um you go to inventory right? you go to items and you add a new item and you call it you know uh general item right you can even call it custom item but i don't want to confuse things so we're going to call it general item okay and i'm going to put it into variable price mode 
you don't have to put it in any categories. You don't have to give it any anything, right? You can call it anything you want as well. All you have to do is just put it in variable mode right here and then hit save. And now when you're in a register, right? All you have to do is just use that general item now instead of the custom item. And it'll work exactly the same way as all the other ones have worked for you. Um, where's my general item? And my eyes are not catching it, so I'm just gonna look for it. So there it is, general item. It's gonna say set a price. I'm gonna say, all right, $15. I'm setting a price. But guess what? Now the fee gets triggered, right? And so that's the difference. And to you as a merchant, really it makes no difference at all. In fact, well, it actually makes a great deal of difference because going this way gives you more options, more control, and shows up better on reports. Because like I said, a custom item is just bypassing all of the inventory and causing a transaction to happen for a certain amount of money. Whereas using an item as a variable price item is much different. And if you want to break your inventory down and, and not go this general item direction and actually have an item for your beef roast, for your bike or whatever the case may be, that's what inventory is for. And um, triggering fee can be done this way um, automatically with the question or you can set it for always, right? So if you go here and you hit edit and just go back to always, then the fee will always trigger. Let me just save this transaction. Go all items. Where's our general item? There it is. Now my eyes see it. Five bucks. And there's the fee right there, right? Automatically. And so that's the way, that's the workaround. If you're hitting this issue where you're using a custom item, um, now you know what custom item is and what's the benefit of not using it and how to get rid of it so that you don't have to have it. Basically, again, go to in employees, permissions, register, uh, custom item, and undo all the roles and that's it